What's going on everybody? So today we have a momentous occasion for the account. You can see behind me, this is my current guild boss damage. This is on the higher end, honestly. Um, 95 million is probably the best I can expect out of this comp. And you might be wondering, well, that has really changed at all since the last video. And you would be correct because I have not made any adjustments. However, um, if we just pop over to the events tab here, come on, blue stacks. Hop over to the challenge ground in here and then scroll down and pick up our mythic shards. You will see that we now have 51. Now, I've been back and forth, back and forth over the past couple of days trying to decide if I wanted to go for Lucaea or for Ben Austin because I believe they're both, both their exclusive threes are some of the best in the entire game. However, Ben Austin is his exclusive two is kind of just meh just meh it's just it's just not that good um honestly i, I don't even really like it whereas lucaea's exclusive two is actually really good because she gets a piercing rate of 45 percent um and she also reduces her cooldowns anytime she gains that soul fragment which will be really really good for every area of the game so i've been leaning towards lucaea just because I wanted to see an immediate improvement and I wanted to break that 100 million potentially because I'm only, as you saw, about 5 million away at the higher end of things. Not only that, but I think that actually is because Lucaea can apply 10 bleeds on her own due to her really, really fast speeds. I don't need Ben Austin exclusive three to get a ton of value. And I think I want to just all in on Lucaea exclusive three just to see what that's like. So, with that in mind, today, I say all that, but I kind of already made my decision because today we're actually going to go for Lucaea's exclusive two. Here we go, guys, and then we're going to test it out and see how much has changed. Boom, there's going to be the additional piercing rate. There's going to be the additional cooldown. Keep in mind, guys, she is not optimized whatsoever. She has very, very little, um, you know, specific auras. I actually do like the speed aura, but honestly, the one I would really want to run here is um, the hit grandmaster, not the hit grandmaster, the advanced hit. Yeah, the advanced hit aura with the 12% attack, 12% effect hit. That is just absolutely massive for extra, obviously applying those bleeds and extra attack. Super, super nice for the poison, uh, bleeders. And of course, her gear isn't optimized either. She's really, really focused on a bleed centric build so the piercing rate may not do a ton but hopefully um i will get a little bit of extra damage out of her we will see we will see so let's run into guild boss here that's guild boss six that's not what we want and we're gonna see if we can notice any big difference in lucaea now that she has the extra attack defense and hp so she's a little tankier does a little bit more damage and then of course the extra piercing rate from her actual attacks hopefully that will cause us to have some massive, massive damage increases here. We'll see. Of course, um, there's no guarantee that we're going to get a ton of extra damage. But we are getting those soul fragments quite quickly. And uh, that means that we should be getting a skill reset here in just a little bit due to the new exclusive too. You can see there we actually ulted way, way quicker than we normally would have. Um, which is a really really big one there's another soul fragment used with that second ability and now we should be able to ult plus ult here coming up i believe next turn oh uh this turn i believe is going to be the the ult plus ult double ult because of that cooldown reset plus getting the soul core there's the ult plus the ult and there's two ults bam really really nice damage there and now we just let her do a ton of damage, right? That's the goal, is just to have her absolutely annihilate the guild boss due to her extra speed, due to her piercing rate, due to her bleed application, just everything working so, so well. I also wanted to mention here um, about Hoff. People were wondering why I was running Hoff. And it's very simple, guys. He has effect resistance down on the basic. He has tenacity down and defense down too on that second skill, which helps it keep it up permanently because Ben Austin um, doesn't actually keep it up permanently sometimes. Uh, so both those things are pretty big for Lucaea because her effect hit isn't high enough. And then he has the HP burning, which actually helps out Hisanya consistently apply the five HP burns. Uh, so all those three things are super, super massive for my team. 
Some people also mentioned using Virto, and I've actually used Virto, and I like Virto. The only thing is, Virto does not provide as much effect hit as Hoth, especially when you don't have the exclusives. I don't have exclusives on my Virto. I only have exclusive zero Virto. So if I were to use him, it would be kind of mediocre. So if I get those exclusives on Virto, I probably would swap out Hoth for Virto just to try it out because you do get the attack up too. And right now I don't have an attack up in my squad. And I think that would help out Lucia's damage significantly. So I'd actually really like to try that out and see how that works. Um, but of course, I would need to actually get um, Virto up and running before that even applies at all. So you can see here, we are approaching the end of it and it's gonna be 91 million damage. So honestly, um, if I just pull open the recording here, so you can see the difference here. Actually, let me just pull it up right here. Um, we have 12 million on Hoth, 10 million here, 46 million on Lucaea, 48 million here. Um, but this is honestly, again, a little bit of an average run. So we didn't actually get a major improvement, which is a little sad, but I think that's totally due to the fact that I'm not running a ton of crit rate on her, which is, you know, a little unfortunate. When I get that exclusive three, I'm gonna have to rebuild her. But the point of this video at the end of the day was saying that basically, I'm going for exclusive three Lucaea. Again, her exclusive two is very, very good. However, and I will say this, you kind of need to build or focus mainly on her crit rate, crit damage and her attack if you really want to get a ton of value out of that exclusive. Now, again, the run I showed you at the beginning was a above average run. 90 million is about above average run. 85 million is about what I'd get on average and so, Honestly, 91 million is pretty impressive already. But you can see here um, at exclusive three, you can see uh, inflicts one layer of bleed for two turns whenever the last five stages of Spirit Blade outputs land a crit, which is huge. Right, so you need crit. Also, each time it lands a crit, it's gonna additionally trigger a bleed, which is massive, okay? So we really, really need 100% crit rate on her, which means that this is only gonna get better when I rebuild her. I might rebuild her soon, honestly, just to see what she's like. Um, but again, I'm gonna be using her in some dungeons as well as using her probably in, I, I use her in PvP all the time just because of Liz. I run an HP burning burst comp and then run Liz. I also was considering guys um, running Guana in that comp instead of Hoff. Although I think that's just gonna be worse. We'll see, we will see. I, I definitely do wanna build out a Virto here. Where is my Virto? Uh, there he is. You can see I only have that one copy as five stars. I got two more copies here, but you can see the reason why it's super important is one, the Ezra Blessing is still effective when he dies. So if he's squishy, he still will get that effect a hit up, but also it doubles when you have someone under attack up. So if you build them really, really quickly, actually really, really gets a ton of effectiveness, right? Um, keep in mind that this is 22%. And if you happen to have the attack up, it's gonna be 44%, which is comparable to Hoff's A1. That is pretty massive. So there you go, guys. Go for Lucay exclusive three. That's my decision. Um, yeah, I'm risking it all. I don't care. I, ben Austin is the safe option. I know I could reach 100 million with that, but I'm going for exclusive three Lucaea because I'm doubling down on my original pick. Not only that, but also I just love the way Lucaea looks and I love the way her skills interact. I think it's such a cool character. Definitely, definitely someone that I've been really interested in. And as such, I've been upgrading the red mark still. Um, and you can see I've been focusing on crit rate now due to that fact. So I've been getting our crit rate up and I think I'm just gonna go all in on crit rate, go all the way to 30 here, get 9% crit rate, see if that helps out my Lucaea because Lucaea is one of those characters where she just needs an absolute crazy amount of stats. It really is pretty crazy, guys. Um, right, when you need effect hit, mastery, attack, crit rate, crit damage, and speed, because she scales off so many, all those stats so well, it, it gets a little insane. So definitely all my points are going into the talent tree for Redmark. I'm literally only farming Redmark. There's literally no other tree that I'm farming here. Um, you can see Blue Mark doesn't even have level three unlock. Green Mark doesn't have a level three unlock. 
Force Mark has some because I did that early on, um, but everything else is going into Red Mark. I already have the speed maxed out. I, I got attack up to 20 to increase her bleed damage, but now we're going for crit rate and effect hit. So I'm gonna max out the crit rate because I think that's pretty important for Lucaea. Um, maybe I, I might go crit rate to 20 and then effect hit to 30 and then crit rate to 30 because effect hit will benefit Catherine and Sigmund here. We'll see. Um, Crit rate, I think, is just a little bit harder of a stat to come by, generally. So, we'll see. But that's going to be the strategy, guys. It's going to take us some time. It's certainly going to take us some time. And I keep looking at my Force Mark, or my Red Mark Tower here, and I'm like, can I make any improvements to maybe speed that up? But I honestly have a really good comp, and 27 is not doable on auto because of the way the mechanics work. So I can't auto 27, which means that I have to beat 28. And guess what? I don't have a shield remover. So the only option I have is to farm 26 at the moment. So we're going to continue onwards with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Have you guys seen exclusive three Lucaea? I have, and it is insane. So I'm excited to see what it's like on my account and show you all. Stay tuned for that. Sub to the channel, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow.